What's up, guys? Starting off the vlog today, we're about to watch the first Atlanta United game. Well, I hope we're about to watch it, because this shit is only on Univision Deportes and the fucking radio, so I'm trying to find somewhere to watch it online. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to. They're playing the Houston Dynamo. Don't understand why the first fucking game isn't isn't fucking uh, anywhere easily, readily available. What's up, guys? It's ass o'clock in the morning. Um, I had several plans for content tonight that I didn't record because I ended up doing other things. So, this video is going to be titled, The Best Laid Plans, and I'm just going to tell you about all the shit that I tried to do today. There are people walking outside. It's almost like this is the biggest joke of them all. I can't even do a what I plan to do video without getting interrupted. So, uh, the first thing that I was going to do was like kind of like a live, like uh, talking about ye olde five stripes. Can you guys see that? Boom, Atlanta United because of my fucking jersey, right? Fucking got my jersey on, got my hat on. I was ready to watch. Uh, well, as I said previously, it was very hard to find it. But once we finally got it, listening to it in Spanish, we're down 2-0. I turned around, we're down 3-0. And so I was like, well, shit. I'll just, you know, the first time Atlanta United scores, I'll put it on. Well, not only did we not score that whole game, we also lost 4-0, to zero, which was our worst loss in club history. Granted, it's only been a year. But it was the most goals we've ever been scored on, and it was our biggest deficit uh, to start our fucking 2018 season. Not only that, but I didn't realize how many people they fucking got rid of in the offseason. Uh, I knew they had let go of, like, I knew they had let go of Carmona. Uh, but fucking Yamil Assad, Tyrone Mears, Anton Walks, fucking, I thought they got rid of Michael Parkers because I didn't see him starting, but then he went in like 20 minutes in after LGP got hurt. That game was a clusterfuck. We looked underprepared. We looked like we didn't know what the fuck we were doing. We did not look in sync. Our defense was sloppy as shit. And our offense couldn't get anything fucking going. So yeah, I was going to do that, and then we fucking shit the bed, and I was so fucking just raging that I didn't do it. Um, and then I was going to do something that uh, a viewer requested of me, which was uh, talk more about games, do game reviews. And so I was actually going to do a uh, why Fortnite is better than PUBG video, which I'm still going to do. I still plan on doing that. But I did want some like actual game footage of me playing Fortnite. And I played, like, ten matches, and I got, like, top ten and nine of them in fucking second and third and, like, six of them. And I was, like, recording clips, and then I realized, like, this is going to be on the Xbox. It's going to be fucking impossible. I should have just recorded them directly to my computer, so I decided not to do that. I'll do it later. Because um, I do want to talk about that. Because I do think that Fortnite has a fuck ton of advantages over PUBG, and that's why people like Ninja are doing so well right now on Fortnite. Um, and then, uh, but then I got caught up, uh, fucking, uh, doing a little creative writing, um, for a project that, uh, a lot of you know exists, um, but I haven't talked about it in a while, and, uh, I'm gonna, um, hopefully have some more shit on that done. Um, but yeah, I was, uh, doing some research on that, figuring out some stuff, writing that, and suddenly it was 3.30 in the morning, and so now I am waiting, and I'm gonna go back home, and I'm gonna pass the fuck out, because I'm tired. I actually did get through this, and, uh, it actually did make it all the way. So, I will talk to you guys later.